man. We just can't catch a break though. Yeah. We've just had one mishap after another and today we had two. We finally made it out of town. The rain was melting the snow and we were cruising along great. But in my haste to leave that morning, I hadn't properly secured the ball to the hitch and we hit a bump and the trailer came disconnected from the truck. Luckily we were on a straight stretch of road and we didn't go careening into the ditch or anything, but it was a little scare. Super nice guy stopped on his way to church on his motorcycle in the rain, helped us out. It was super nice to have a little bit of help to get the thing back on the trailer, so big thanks to him. After getting the trailer hitched back to the truck, we headed into the canyon. Because of all the rain, the roads were clear of snow all the way through. Okay, so we just got to Central Point and look who we found. Kenzie, Wyatt, Jane, and Bobby. Hey, I'm good. Good. That is tall. Your boat. So you should be able to make it over the pass today yeah. without any problem. Yeah. And then you're into California. Yeah. And then where are you staying the night? Uh, as far as wherever we make it. Okay, so you, but you're not we'll making it to Utah tonight. No. We're not driving. No, we'll just find a rest stop or a truck stop or something and just pull over and sleep with the boat, all bar, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you don't have to get a hotel. Right, no. Just take both. Yeah. I'll miss you. I'll miss you guys too. Aww, you're the best. <laughs> we don't want you to. I know. Going over our first mountain pass into California, the carpet in the truck started melting and nearly caught the entire truck on fire from an overheated catalytic converter. We just gotta wait for it to cool down. The floor of the truck had gotten so hot that it melted the carpet and even melted the computer case on top. They stuck together in a gooey mess. There was smoke everywhere. It was really hot in there. We stopped to let it cool down and then found that the truck wouldn't start. We were stuck on the side of the road. Phone you have on file. The Chevy. Red and black and I'm towing a boat. Uh, we're a 
about halfway up Sexton or Ashland Summit, uh, just south of uh, Ashland on the five. So we are still broke down on the side of the freeway. It is now what time? Like five? No, oh, past six. six. Past six. It's past six o'clock. So we've been sitting here for a good two hours. Two hours now. Yeah. Um, we are waiting for Bobby to come. He should be here any minute. You think? Yeah. Or within the hour. Hopefully, yeah. Um, we had the insurance get us a tow truck to come and. They called Randall, said that they actually broke down themselves. We requested two tow trucks. Yeah. They only sent one and it broke down. Yeah, so now we are waiting for them to get a new truck, then to come and get us. Yeah. And it's starting to get cold. Yeah. Not too bad. A little. Are your toes cold? You aren't wearing socks today. <laughs> yeah, they're cold. Randall was in such a rush to leave this morning that he just didn't put socks on. <laughs> yeah. Classic Randall. <laughs> yeah, I was ready to get on the road. Oh man, we just can't catch a break though. Yeah. We've just had one mishap after another and today we had two. Yeah. So, At least it's not over yet. Uh, it's nighttime, it should be over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, our plan is we'll get towed. Yeah. Tomorrow, hopefully, get the hopefully truck. Hopefully, they're only sending out. one tow truck. And it's not, they were originally trying to send a flatbed tow truck so they could put the truck on the flatbed and tow the boat. But that truck broke down, so they're sending a regular bumper tow. So yeah. they can't even get us both in one tow. I don't know what their plan is now. Yeah, so... But we definitely don't want to leave the boat just sitting here. No, we can't do that. Anybody could just come and take it. Yeah, hook up to it and be gone. Um, but yeah, well, we need to try to see what's wrong with the truck tomorrow at the mechanics and then uh, go from there. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah. Man. The tow truck finally showed up. It's a little after seven o'clock. It's not a good big tow truck. It's really small. And there's no way it's gonna carry our boat and the truck. And there's Bobby. Hi. <laughs> I'm a state trooper. <laughs> oh, are you? <laughs> no. Anybody ask. Uh... I'm just off duty right now. Take care of business. Yeah, I really don't think that truck is big enough. <laughs> this is not a good situation. I don't know, it's like half hooked up and I don't know what the plan is. He's complaining that he doesn't know if we can get through the scales legally and he's going to try and just get us off the highway and we, we've been here for hours and hours and hours and it, it, I, he still doesn't it doesn't think he can get us to where we need to go. He's like, I just got to get you off the highway. I'm like, what's the game plan after that? We have two destinations we need to go to. We gave him the addresses three hours ago. We're still waiting. He still doesn't have a plan to make anything happen. And there's still no second tow truck coming. And we're in a dangerous, we're in a dangerous spot on the side of the highway. We're not off the road. We are right on the freeway. I'm so glad I called yesterday. Got the towing insurance. <laughs> Was it yesterday? <laughs> I don't know if they keep towing insurance on my vehicle, you know? What did he say about the boat? That sucker's heavy. All the yeah. weight's up so high. Just want to push. Yeah. What'd you say it weighs? Over 10,000 pounds? No, I said it weighs just under 10,000 pounds. Is he testing if he can stop? Yeah, probably. He's probably getting it down here halfway and be like, dude, I can't stop it. We're gonna wait here for another tow truck. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he climbs to know what he's Oh, he's pretty proud of himself. Right? <laughs> so do you feel comfortable taking it down? Well, I've been here for five years in a round. If I can't do it, so you can make it down. We'll find out what we yeah. All right, dude. It's just <laughs> it's a lot of speed back. Three miles later, that thing weighs a lot. 
Yeah, I know, that's what we said. There's the runaway truck ramp. Well, we didn't use it, that's a good sign. <laughs> right? Are there more, though? Yeah, there's, there's like, one more. There's a couple, yeah. Well, the old guy did it. Well, halfway, anyhow. He got us down to the way station. Nice park. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we have been dealing with. We have Turtle on the trailer. And then we have our truck hooked up to the trailer there. And then we have the truck hoisted up to the tow truck there. It's kind of dark, sorry. And then we have the tow truck itself. So, and then we've got Bobby back behind us, of course. We're so grateful that he has been here for us. Yeah. So right now, um, Randall's in the cab talking to the driver and they're trying to figure out the best way to get to Bobby's friend's house to drop off the boat and then we have to drop the truck off at a mechanic. So new game plan is that we are going to wait for a second tow truck to come and they're going to take the boat. So Randall and I unhooked the boat from the truck and we're just going to wait for the second tow truck. So the first tow truck towed our truck to the mechanic shop and we waited a couple of hours, about two and a half, for the second tow truck to show up and then he was able to tow our boat to our friend's house. We finally got towed to somewhere we could spend the night. It took eight hours to get off the mountain and we were completely exhausted. It was a long ordeal, but we were just glad it was over, glad to be down, and we were really tired.